Aloha, this is Dr. C on GTV, and I'm here at Kapiolani Park in Waikiki. So, Emu yeah. and Josh, you guys are doing something very unusual, uh, uncommon, at least from my point of view. Uh, what are you guys doing here? Kind of like surfing there a little bit too. Oh yeah, uh, it's modified. Yeah. A lot of flexibility. Flexibility is an asset. Oh yeah. Good core strength, man. Nice. <laughs> wow, man, this is great. Josh, where are you from? I'm from New York, originally. And how did you end up here in Hawaii? I am in the military, so they've just been carting me around all over the place, uh, last in California for the last five years, and uh, now I'm here for the next four years. So trying to build a community in Hawaii and um, build it in the next place, like hopefully like Germany or something like that. And we, maybe like three weeks ago, we had an 84-year-old woman hop up on one of my yoga lines. So, I mean, there is no age limit. There is no skill required. If you have the interest and you want to try it, it's there. Do you need to be certified to teach this? I don't think there's necessarily a certification. It's more of the patience in order to work with people. And I've actually approached some CrossFit gyms and, you know, the classes around here, some of the outdoor yoga classes are donation based. And that's how I would perceive it uh, to be advertised. But once you had some success with it and the sport grew, the problem is we're in infancy, so trying to get somebody to pay for something that they don't quite know what they're paying for is pretty difficult, but that's why we're trying to spread the word and get more people. So, Emu, where are you from? I'm from San Jose, California. And how did you end up in Hawaii? I came here for school and went to UH Manoa. I originally came here for research, but I kind of didn't like it that much, so I started hanging around with the climbers, going climbing, going slacklining and I ended up getting hired at the climbing shop here, Climb Aloha. And I started working there as a climbing guide, uh, instructor, and I started doing rope access work. And so now, that's what I do here. And the idea or the concept of slack lining, what is it about the sport that you want to see change? I think maybe one important thing for everyone involved is safety. A lot of people will don't really take that into consideration and they'll just rig something up, just put up a line and not really think about that. So actually right now we're putting together what's called the ISA, the International Slackliner Association. And we're going to kind of come up with some safety standards and hopefully get information out to the public. So you've never heard of slacklining before and I'm sure a lot of people watching this haven't. So getting slacklining out there as a sort of thing that people recognize and then understanding that there's a lot of safety that goes along with it too. This is Dr. C on Chi TV. Remember, there is no life without Chi.